Alright, today I'm going to give you a review of a $10 Tesla coil I found online at banggood.com with 9 volt battery to scale. So when I found this online, somebody suggested it to me on Facebook and I thought that it was like a do-it-yourself kit. I, I had seen some online recently that was like a $50 kit and I thought maybe it was just the cheap Chineseium knockoff of one of those kits so I bought it and to my surprise two weeks later when it showed up in the mail it was already ready built uh, the only thing that I actually had to install was you can see these screws with the little blocks at the bottom and I didn't even need a, a wrench for that you just need a screwdriver and your hand and it came together just fine so I guess let me get this out of the way and I'll give you a little demo. It has a little wire sticking up, a single filament, and ejects its corona off of the top. Um, let me turn off this light and you'll be able to see it a little better. Or not. Um, and it do never really stops shaking like that. And my computer never really stops fucking up when this is on. I am using a cheap iPod. Um, by cheap, I mean it's old and broken. And somebody gave it to me for free. And just for comparison, I'm going to play it over the speakers before I play it over the Tesla coil. Mmm, smells like ozone. Anyway, uh, it doesn't make a whole lot of noise just by itself, a little bit of static. Um, this is the iPod by itself, just playing on its own internal speaker. And when I take this little plug here, and... Let me turn off the light. <laughs> Sounds all right for techno. Not very good with traditional music, but anything new age with digital sounds in it, it seems to be able to handle fairly well, while filling your whole room with ozone smell. One thing I didn't really like about this coil were these two LEDs, which are extremely bright and overpower everything about the little spark coming up. So I've actually taken and put in a drop of paint on top of both of the bulbs and it's, it's a bit better than it was before. I'll probably put more paint on later. The kit also comes with a small light bulb, <clears throat> gas filled, and when you get it close enough, it lights up. You can switch which side it lights up depending on which direction you go to it. And you are the ground in this circuit, so be careful. It's a difficult video to shoot. It keeps interfering with my signal. Um, so the other thing that I didn't really like about this was these two heat sinks here get about 100 degrees centigrade. Um, Enough, hot enough to boil water, so do not touch those whatever you do. And our primary coil is simply a single wrap of insulated wire wound around the coil. Does it work? Yes. Does it sound good? For a Tesla coil this size? Yes.
So this is the absolute cheapest of Chinesium you can get for a Tesla coil. But is it worth $10? Completely, hands down. Barely any assembly required. Ready to go right out of the box.